to last, get to last, get to last. What a dirty part of Thailand! Yeah! Cow Laps boleh isikan dimasak dengan pelbagai menu diet pilihan kunyah kunyah bila berserono sakan dari yang muda ke tua semua boleh layan pasti nak lagi bila nak buat apa tak boleh ke tentu peti burger yang dipilih kata Dunia dari pada Thailand dan Kausan Rehu Moisai. And his opponent representing Cambodia, Brazil. Three and a single Tiago Teixeira with the keeper. Ketua semua boleh layan Pasti nak lagi bila dah rasa sikit Jadi bila nak daya Tentu peti burger yang dipilih Ketua Bagaimana bapa? Dia pernah tinggal di Kulit dulu, tuan-tuan bapa ingatlah. Ia gak disiara. Bantuan dan perempuan Ding Kausan dan Tiago Akan merebut Tali pinggang kejuaraan Yang ditaja oleh Ketola Malaysia 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 for this bout between the Brazilian Cambodian and the Thai fighter. The Thai origin, well, he he's a Thai origin, Deng Khao San, but he resides here in Malaysia, training out of Red Wolves Muay Thai. That's, a, that's, a, that's actually a gym nearby my house. Yeah. Yeah. All the way back in uh, Subang. Jika kita lihat Red Wolf Muay Thai, memang banyak melahirkan fighter-fighter Uh, boleh kata bahaya di Malaysia persembahan oh, yeah. white crew oleh kedua-dua peserta daripada Thailand dan juga Brazil Now I asked Tiago at the back because Deng Khao San has got over 300 fights I asked Tiago is 300 a scary number for you? Tiago's answer was once you go over 100 fights we're all the same there's a, I think, fierce answer by uh, Thiago. Yeah, Thiago is definitely not afraid to face up against Den Kao San, who's racked up a total of 300, yeah, 307, 307 fights in total. Thiago has got over 100 fights himself. Betul. Jika kita lihat uh, Den Kao San uh, berumur 26 tahun, dia, manakala Tiago berumur 34 tahun, 
dengan reach 176 manakala Den Kalsa 178 cm. Ini adalah tali pinggang kejuaraan yang mereka akan berlawan pada malam ini. A Brazilian born and residing over in Southeast Asia for since 2009. Betul. Tiago. Jika kita lihat Tiago pernah berada di Kulim selama beberapa tahun dah berlatih dan berlawan dah di tanah Kedah. Kedah and then he went over to Thailand. Now he resides in Cambodia. Very proud to wear the Cambodian flag and to represent the country as well. Perlawanan dah ini akan bermula sebentar lagi. And this is going to be a very exciting fight. Very exciting. Di sudut biru, manakala Dan Kalsa di sudut merah. Round number one. Tiago. Tiago, now. You're starting, starting really slow, these guys. Yeah. Starting slow. Boleh dikatakan ini adalah uh, typical Muay Thai punya old school. Cara berlawan di mana mereka tidak akan uh, melakukan pace yang tinggi pada awal-awal round. Mungkin akan sedikit perubahan jika pace dari jika kita lihat pada round-round yang akan datang nanti. Yeah, the pace will go up higher and higher as the fight goes on. Big hook there from uh, Thiago. Ooh, leans back. Kita nampak tadi Thiago mungkin cuba ingin melakukan serangan elbow. Push kick from Den Kausa. Oh! 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 Left hook yang dilakukan. It's a mean hook. Uh, Thiago not going to rush for the finish yet. Betul. Sebab mungkin tadi berlakunya slip. Yeah, it could be a slip. Oh! oh. What an elbow from Thiago. Look at that stare down from Thiago. Couldn't get his eyes off of uh, Den Kao San. Eyes locked on. Right hand from Thiago. Nampak Den Kao San cuba untuk menunjukkan ownership di dalam perlawanan ini. Oh, uh, cantik mid section kick yang dilakukan oleh Den Kao San, tapi berjaya di block oleh Thiago. Thiago just inching closer and closer and closer. I think Thiago might want to look for that elbow again. Oh, he steps back. Okay, membawa lawannya di bahagian yang kurang basah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense because they don't want to fight somewhere slippery. Ooh, lucky yang cantik. Ooh, that hook. Coming in hot, just missing out. Ooh, oh, it's a nice elbow from Kausan. Berbaki 15 saat untuk round yang pertama. Boleh dikatakan kedua-dua peninju masih lagi testing the water. They're still sniffing each other. Yeah, Thiago's trying to set up that hook. But we go, we end round number one. 
Jadi kita lihat tiada cubaan gila-gila yang dilakukan oleh kedua-dua peninju yang berasal daripada Thailand dan juga Brazil ini. Yeah, not much in the first round. We can't really say a hook, of course. Yeah. Is the hook that we're going to see? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh! Boleh dikatakan clean dah. Hook yeah, that, that was a clean shot. Yeah. That was in a slip for sure. That's the nice elbow there from Thiago. Yeah. And then, of course, there was an elbow attempt. Uh, no, an elbow connection from Deng Kausa. I think. Not, 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 not this replay. I think it should be the one after this. Hopefully, if we can get it somewhere around here, perhaps. The way there was a really nice clean elbow yeah. from Den Kausan, so we'll see how round number two is gonna be for both these fighters. Brought to you by Ketelab, Ketelab. Untuk penonton, penonton, penonton yang baru saja melihat live ini kami live di kompleks Sukan KHTP Kulim Kedah di dalam kejohanan Ketelab Palawan Muay Thai International Championship. Yang ditaja penuh oleh Ketolaps Mungkinkah kita akan melihat uh, More agres agresif daripada Kedua-dua peserta daripada Round yang kedua ini Maybe, maybe Maybe we might see more aggression from both these guys in the second round. I think it's going to be much more explosive than the first. Betul. I I don't know. I just have a feeling somebody's going to get knocked out either in this round or the next. Betul. I don't think I don't think we're going to see round four five. Betul. Jadi kita lihat sedikit lebam di bahagian uh, pipi kiri dan kawasan mungkin akibat hook yang di check hook yang dibeli uh, diberikan oleh Tiago sebentar tadi. Could be could be from the hook the the bruising on Dan Kausan. Tiago inching very close. Oh, he was thinking about it. Thinking about going for that left hook. Betul. I think Kao San has to be careful now. Trying to move away. Get, I think Deng Kao San wants to get out of the ropes. Doesn't want to get cornered by Tiago. Tiago wants to put him against the ropes or in the corner of the ring. Maybe you want to catch his opponent there. Kick there from Tiago. Ooh, doubling up on that kick from Deng. Oh! Oh, both these guys hooking at the same time. Ooh. And to our viewers from the international grounds, welcome to Pahlawan Muay Thai brought to you by Keto Labs. If you guys are enjoying the show right now, hit the like button of course on, on, on this Facebook live stream. I think quite a number of you guys are watching in support of Tiago. And quite a number of you are probably watching over from Thailand supporting the Thai fighter. Do place as much comments on who you think is winning the fight. Sekarang kita mempunyai 1,600 orang yang melihat live ini dari serata dunia. Oh, 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 oh. oh, the aggression is increasing now. Oh, a jumping hook and then an elbow from uh, Den Kao San. Apakah kita dapat melihat Tiago dapat menjatuhkan Lawannya yang mempunyai lebih daripada 300 fight Pada malam ini Ooh, It's a nice body kick Berbaki 5 saat 
tamat round yang kedua. This fight feels like like diffusing a bomb. Betul. You know, at any point if a, if a if a wire was cut wrong, boom. Betul. Jadi kita lihat kedua-dua mereka boleh dikatakan land lah masing-masing uh, shot yang sangat-sangat clean. Very, very. Some, some of them are really, really good shots, especially the hooks of Tiago. Tiago is re really uh, Dan Carlson with the hooks. Betul. And some of the kicks. Good, good work from the kicks from Dan Carlson. I love yeah. the kicks. Oh, here's some of that hook. Both of them trying to get the elbow. Jadi kita lihat Dan Kausa cuba membawa Tiago di dalam clinching. Mungkin menyadari itu adalah kelebihan dia. Ah, sedikit elbow tadi hampir terkena. Playback tadi ditaja oleh Ketolat. Kato Labs <laughs> Kita lihat uh, apakah yang akan dilakukan oleh dia, Thiago pada third round ini Mungkin uh, masih lagi menggunakan uh, strategi yang sama Untuk tidak berada di dalam clinch Di mana itu adalah teritori Dan juga di mana tempat yang uh, Dan Kawasan selesa Yeah, I think if I was Dan Kausan right now, I want to try to stay away from the ropes and work with the kicks. Betul. The kicks work very, Betul. very well in favor of Dan Kausan. Thiago, on the other hand, needs to find the hooks. He needs to get, try to get in and play the fight dirty. Betul, saya setuju. Jika, kita, jika Dan Kausan tidak melakukan uh, banyak kick ataupun uh, clinching, Mungkin ini akan memberi peluang kepada Thiago untuk melakukan serangan-serangan tangan seperti tadi. Oh. Yes. Yes, he needs to use the clinch to stop Thiago from attacking a lot. Pusingan ketiga. Oh. Round ketiga, di sudut biru Thiago, di sudut merah Dan Kausan. 3 out of 5 rounds. Who does oh. a nice kick to the face? As a nice clean shot. Betul. Tapi seperti tidak memberi kesan kepada Tiago. Apa yang saya kagum dengan anak dua fighter ni mereka boleh menerima tumbukan dan tendangan di bahagian kepala, tapi masih lagi gagah berdiri. Tiago cuba lagi mencari ruang untuk melakukan serangan tangan, tapi diserang oleh kick seperti dikatakan oleh Dan sebentar tadi. Yeah, the Banyak. kicks work. Betul. Mungkin Dan Kausan telah mendapat Membaca Taktik-taktik yang dilakukan oleh Tiago Pada penonton-penonton yang di rumah Yang menantikan uh, perlawanan uh, Final Super 4 Antara uh, Apizat dan juga Iman fight itu, akan fight itu akan berlangsung selepas ini Yeah, Dan Kausan understands the fight. He's moving a lot more, going left to right. He's resetting the position, not allowing Thiago to play his game. Elbow there from Thiago. Taking the center here from Dan Kausan. Controlling the fight. Setting up, looking for the opportunities to kick like that. Betul dikatakan oleh Dan uh, Dan Kausa perlu melakukan banyak serangan kick kerana kita lihat Thiago tidak menggunakan kaki langsung banyak yeah. menggunakan tangan yeah, Dan Kausa is doing a good job at resetting Betul But now Thiago got Dan Kausa on the road but Ka Dan Kausa uses the kicks to get out of the situation Betul Tapi boleh dikatakan itu adalah strategi bahaya oh. kan? dikatakan Ini adalah strategi bahaya kerana Tiago hanya menggunakan tangan mungkin akan memberi ruang kepada Dan Kausan untuk melakukan elbow counter. Kerana itu adalah weakness jika meng hanya menggunakan boxing di dalam Muay Thai. Yes, you have to mix it up. In Muay Thai, you have to use up the elbow, you have to use the knees and you have to utilize the clinch as well. Betul. Oh, it's a nice punch there. Betul. Oh, body oh, shot there body but shot. a nice elbow from Dan Kausan. Yeah.
end of round number three. Oh my goodness. Very, very close fight. But I think that, that third round was a bit more favored for Deng Kao San. Betul. Yeah, the kicks was working well. But it's what you can say by Daniel Sebentar tadi, di mana Deng Kao San hanya perlu menggunakan to counter serangan-serangan tangan. Tiago, itu clean shot. Kaki kiri di bagian leher. Masih lagi berdiri. A lot of those counters were missing out from uh, Tiago in this round. You can see that Kawasan Pandai utilizes the space dengan melakukan banyak footwork. Very good spacing. And here's a bit, here's a, some of that exchanges towards the end of the third round. Oh, left foot to the body yang dilakukan oleh Tiago seperti dia. Terima kasih kepada saya boleh katakan perlawanan di Kulim Kedah ini sangat meriah Lain daripada yang lain Kita mungkin boleh dapat crowd macam ni mungkin di Kelantan Tetapi di Kedah saya tak sangka begitu ramai yang datang untuk melihat perlawanan ini Betul No more chairs Outside, we can see people even standing behind at the parking lot. Kepada penonton ya, 1,600 orang penonton dah di Facebook Live Palawan Muay Thai. Kita sekarang bersiaran langsung daripada kompleks sukan KHTP untuk perlawanan. Keto Labs, Palawan Muay Thai International Championship Kedua-kedua mereka sekarang berlawan untuk mendapatkan tali pinggang Keto Labs Championship pada malam ini Adakah lawan ini Pemilik belt ini Akan dapat daripada peserta daripada Brazil Ataupun daripada Thailand. Ooh, Ooh. 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 Wow. We start this Ooh. round strong. Smash Ooh. yang cantik dilakukan oleh Deng Kao San di dalam clinching. Got the take down. Mungkin ah Deng Kao San cuba untuk memberitahu Tiago. Tiago wants to work off a little bit more on the kickboxing. He wants to work the body this time around. Betul. Some elbows here being expanded from both the fighters. Kausan, clinch initiated from Tiago, but so much two knees there landed for in favor of Din Kausan within the clinch. Okay, cuba dilakukan oleh Tiago. Kita lihat walaupun Deng Kao San banyak step back Tetapi banyak juga clean shot yang dilakukan oleh Deng Kao San terhadap Tiago yeah, A little bit more clean shots from Deng Kao San as compared to Tiago Tiago oh. oh, Cubaan left hook berjaya di block oleh Deng Kao San Mungkin sudah membaca pattern serangan Oh, oh nice elbow from Deng Kao San Seperti saya katakan tadi kelemahan dah Tumbukan di dalam Muay Thai adalah elbow Tiago harus menyedari bahawa Deng Kao San ada banyak Muslihat-muslihat Yang belum dikeluarkan Oh, Bagi kita katakan cantik teknik tadi Cubaan sweep dan juga ni. Combination attempt there from Tiago. Oh, it's a nice punch from Deng Kao San. Yeah, Deng Kao San definitely has more control in the, in this fight. Betul. Walaupun dia step back banyak, oh. tapi banyak serangan clean yang dilakukan oleh 
Then Kausan. Yeah, he's reading Thiago like a book now. Yeah, Den Kaosan definitely has Thiago figured out in the fourth round. Definitely a one-sided performance for this round. There's still one more round though, so you know, Thiago can still get that knockout. Yeah. He did drop Den Kaosan in the first round, yeah. but since then, Den Kaosan managed to find and read the game of Thiago. Saya rasa Thiago harus menukar sedikit corak perlawanannya. Yep. Ini slam yang dilakukan oleh Den Kaosan. Yeah, Thiago definitely has to start changing up his patterns. He needs to start mixing it up. If he still keeps on attacking with the left hook, you know, it's going to be very easy for Den Kaosan to read. Banyak kontrol yang dilakukan oleh Den Kaosan. Dari posisi clinch. Oh, elbow yang cantik. Oh, see, again, he keeps leaning on that left hook or left upping up that hand. He's charging up that punch. Den Kaosan's got it read up. He knows what he's doing now. Well, there's still three more minutes in this fight, so still fight can go anywhere, Betul. anywhere else, you know. Betul. Could go. Thiago might get a knockout. Den Kaosan might walk this fight out with a decision, or maybe Den Kaosan might get a knockout himself. Some of those shots in the fourth round were really, really clean. If it just had a bit more oomph to it, or if Thiago starts guessing out, Betul. you never know. Yes. So this is. Muay Thai, we can say it's the always a 50-50 game. We never know until the last bell. So I never back down. Brought to you by Keto Labs. Keto Labs. Fifth and final round is about to commence here between the Thailand fighter and the Brazilian Cambodian. Den Kao San representing Thailand, residing in Malaysia. Tiago, the Brazilian born Cambodian. Jab yang cantik dilakukan oleh Tiago sebentar tadi. Oh, explosive. Oh, boxing yang cantik dilakukan oleh Tiago. Den Kao San takes it. Oh, cuba ada elbow dilakukan oleh Den Kao San. Oh man, these guys are gonna trade. Yeah. Thiago Chuba, berlaku agresif di round ini. Man, the kind of fireworks we're gonna get in this in this fifth and final round. We're gonna see Merdeka before August. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of fireworks, right? <laughs> oh, you can see Thiago tak nampak desperate, tapi dia rasa dia cub dia mungkin boleh dapat. Knockout pada malam ini Begitu agresif dia pada malam ini yeah, Deng Kao San was feeling very confident with the exchange early in this round oh, referee, Even referee is asking them to have a bit more action Yeah Oh, that's a nice elbow from Thiago Oh, Ooh, a push kick to the face. Didn't have enough baseline to create the damage. Yang mungkin terlalu jauh. Ooh. Serangan push kick itu sampai pada hujung-hujung sahaja. Oh, Take down there from Thiago. Thiago really turning up in the fifth and final round. He's got a minute and five seconds left if he wants to get a finish. Oh, Ooh, it's a nice push cantik. kick into the face. Pada the penonton-penonton yang berada di rumah, 1,700 penonton yang berada di rumah. Oh my goodness! Ini adalah perlawanan Ketolab, perlawan Muay Thai International Ship. Siapakah akan menyandang tali pinggang pada malam ini? Adakah peserta daripada Brazil, Thiago, ataupun daripada Thailand, Dan Kausan? Oh, oh elbow, nice elbow, elbow. 
Apakah yang cuba dilakukan oleh Deng Kaosan melihat Tiago masih lagi maju ke hadapan Tapi apa yang saya rasa Deng Tiago perlu lakukan adalah dari dari besar mengikut keliling ring Deng Tiago perlu melakukan cut ring supaya tidak memberi ruang kepada Deng Kaosan Yeah, Tiago's following a lot. He needs to cut, cut Deng Kaosan off, but he's got 10 seconds remaining. Betul. Four, three, two. Tamat round yang kelima. End of this fight. Well, to all the international viewers out there, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. The winner of tonight will, well, the winner of this fight tonight will win a title and a championship brought to you by Kato Labs. Some of that highlight early in the round. Oh. A lot of combinations. So. Tiago came in strong in the in the early rounds. I think I think Deng Kao San welcomed a little bit of that exchange, but then towards middle and the end of the round, Deng Kao San starts to go. You know what? I'm winning. I don't need to take this damage. So, at dari segi pengalaman, boleh dikatakan Deng Kao San menguasai perlawanan daripada round. Pertama dan kelima Wakil uh, diri Dr. Noor Azam Daripada Yayasan Rukun Negara Dijemput Tuan uh, Pengarah Projek Dan juga Tuan daripada Yayasan Rukun Negara Dr. Noor Azam Ya tuan-tuan dan puan-puan keputusannya. Jap jap Abah Arif, tak masuk lagi. Kenderaan berat selalu lambat. Gempak sikit. Keputusannya dengan kiraan mata. Mana penyokong, penyokong Deng Kau San? Mana penyokong, penyokong? Belum, 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 belum. Belum. Mana penyokong, penyokong Tiago Tishera? Abang Aris, umum siapa pemenangnya? Pemenangnya dengan kiraan mata bilik merah. <tuh> Dan dengan ini kita menjemput Dr. Nur Azam bersama-sama Tuan Pengarah Projek Katolik Malaysia untuk menyampaikan memakai Katolik Pinggang kepada Muhammad Kitiamat Apa pun tepukan juga kepada Tiago Tishera Putera Sikun daripada Cambodia Tiago Demija Kat tengah Ini dia Tepuk sikit Terima kasih diucapkan Kepada Tuan Pengarah dan uh, itu dah dan kita menjemput kedua-dua peninju untuk pergi ke pentas utama untuk bergambar dan juga terima kasih diucapkan kepada Dr. Nur Azam daripada Yayasan Rukun Negara juga Have it, ladies and gentlemen your winner and your champion for Keto Labs Pahlawan Muay Thai Den Kao San I mean from the from the third round to the fifth round Ken Kao San had Tiago read like a book. He, he got all the counters, all the movement correct. Everything was perfect. Just early in the first round where Tiago scoring a... Well, he didn't score a knockdown, but he managed to knock him down with a really mean hook. That's a tight hook. You know, I think Tiago gained a lot of confidence from that and tried to... He didn't really try to get finished. He, he tried to play the game out. But then as the game goes on longer, you know, Ken Kao San... Sudah understanding the patterns of Tiago. Banyak cubaan-cubaan left hook yang dilakukan oleh Tiago selepas itu tidak mengenai sasaran kerana sudah dapat membaca 
Yeah, a lot of the attacks were coming from the left side, so it was at that point very easy to read his opponent. Either way, brought to you by Keto Labs. Cabutan Petia, Betua, Under Ready, Under Ready, Cabutan Petua, kita ada lagi dua perlawanan. Mana kita?